And so when people are on the street, especially like last night, people are coming, it's like, do you have an extra shirt or a blanket or something like that? So keeping people warm and clean. There are a lot of people who are working. They don't have their first paycheck yet, so they can't afford clothes like work boots or tennis shoes. Somebody came last night and said, do you have a belt, right? So, um, so we just provide clothing. All the clothing is donated, and usually what happens is people are coming down to volunteer, and they'll donate some clothes. So guys, well, no, it's not true. I don't want to do gender stereotypes. Some people come in, and they'll be like, I need a pair of pants, I need a pair of shoes, I need a pair of socks, I need a pair of underwear, and they're gone. Other people will come in, and they'll say, Father, which one do you like? Do you like the brown one? Or the blue one, <laughs> to which I say, which one do you like, right? Because I don't want all the responsibility. But people who are on the streets, they don't get many choices, right? And so at least here, we try to make it as much like we can a retail experience so they can get a choice between a blue and a brown shirt, right? Um, you know, they don't get too many choices at meal. You know, they can have spaghetti or not have spaghetti. They can have the fruit salad or not. But here's a place where they can just have choices. And I guarantee you, just because you're homeless, that doesn't mean that you're, you don't have a sense of style.